Hello little friends, today we learn it's always best to be humble. Get ready for fun stories about Noah's Ark and the Tower of Babel. Are you ready? Let's go. God looked at all the badness and evil in the world and decided to send tons of rain to wash away all the wrongdoing and start fresh. God came to a man named Noah who was good and kind. God told Noah to build a gigantic boat called an ark that would keep him, his family, and two of every animal safe. It started raining hard and did not stop for 40 days and nights in a row. The entire world was covered in flood waters. Everything and everyone on earth was washed away except for Noah and his family and the animals inside the ark. They were saved because Noah obeyed God. When the rainstorm finally ended, God placed a beautiful rainbow in the sky and promised he would never flood the whole earth ever again. Noah's family and all the animals were so happy to leave the ark when it landed on dry land again. The animals had babies to start new families everywhere. Many, many years later, Noah's grandchildren got together and arrogantly tried to build a tower tall enough to reach outer space. This tower was called the Tower of Babel. God did not like their dangerous and prideful idea very much. So God magically made all the people start talking in different languages they did not understand. This forced them to stop working together. Unable to communicate, the people gave up on the tower and moved away in groups to faraway places and started new tribes and civilizations. That is how the world came to have so many different languages, cultures and countries, all from one original people. Little friends the morale of the story is like the flood, pride can destroy what God intends for good, so stay humble and you will find purpose. Thanks for joining us today. Remember to like and subscribe for more fun stories. See you next time.